I'm back live, guys. I just took my picture and I am so emotional. It's just an amazing feeling to be in this big old gown. I always dreamed of this big old gown. Y'all see it? It's huge. But I always dreamed that I would put on this gown and I take this picture today for all the females who feel like they can't make it or you got too much on your plate. Go for your dreams. This is an example. Go for your dreams. Even the kings out there. Hey, Parsine. Hey, Dimples 4169. Thank y'all so much for the hearts. I'm Dr. Sean. I'm here taking my graduation pictures. I graduate May 21st, 2016. Boy, this year's New Year's going to be the turn up. You just watched my replay? Yes! I just wanted to come on here and say I love each and every one of you for your support. Thank you for supporting me. I'm almost down to my dream. I want to thank all my Periscope family. First and foremost, I need to thank God. Thank you so much, Ms. Nia. Thank you so much for crossing. Thank you, Red Bull. Thank you, Ms. Nia. Y'all are awesome. I just want to thank the Father for giving me this opportunity. I thank the Harry Middle School College for giving me this opportunity because nobody else let me into dental school, but they gave me the opportunity. Hi, Joseph, PhD. I just want to thank, uh, thank you. I just want to thank my family, my friends, my king, my, my life. I love you so much, sweet. And I thank you to my family, my auntie, my nieces and nephews. Thank you so much, Redeem THW. Thank you, Daily Anchors. Yeah, give me some hearts. Give me some hearts on the replay. I'm so excited. I'm emotional. I need to go take this down. I'm like, Yes, I'm excited. You know, Dennis Rock. I'm another black female Dennis. I have a passion for the free Dennis tree. So yeah, you can follow me at Dr. Shawn W on Instagram and Twitter. You ain't know me? Do we know? Oh. Okay. Um, that's the photographer. I thought they wanted me to get the gown back. He said I'm okay. So anywho, I want to thank my family, my friends, my uncles, my aunties, each and every one of you, my brother, my sister, my cousins, just everybody. I, I know I'm leaving out a lot of people. My grandmother. I thank my father for stepping up to the plate. You know, when I need him the most, we just got a good relationship. I wasn't talking to him in the past, but I am now, and I'm thankful for forgiveness. I'm thankful for God healing my heart to be able to allow him to come back into my life. I want to thank God for my mother. Face on fleek. Yeah, I got it done like two hours ago. But I want to thank God for my mother. She's my angel. She's in heaven. Mommy, I love you so much. I'm not graduating yet, but I'm almost there. And I always said I want to thank my mom. Why I'm here today. When I was four, five years old, I can remember life being so tough, and I can remember, you know, just having it really rough. My father, I don't know if you follow my story, but he was on drugs, and he was always in prison when I was a kid, so I had a big grudge against him. I've been a dental assistant for over 10 years. Where are you located? Hi, Redeem THW. I'm in Nashville, Tennessee right now. Um, next year, I'll probably be in the, on the West Coast, hopefully. I'm from Florida, though. People always say, oh, it's hard work to pay off, believe me, it will pay off. And whatever you're doing, whatever your dream is, I stand here today for you. I stand here today in this cap and gown, this robe, and this big hood thing. I, I got one, y'all. Y'all see the tassel? Hi, Orlando, Florida. Tallahassee. What about the Seminoles? Texas in the house. Thank you. But yeah, whatever your dream is, whatever your passion is, if it's the cook, business, entrepreneur, I'll try to come to your graduation. Just keep me posted. I definitely will. I definitely will. If you want to follow my story, you can follow me on Dr. Sean, D-R-S-H-O-N-W. Um, for the story, I will post my final graduation picture there. I thank y'all for the hearts. I thank y'all for the love. I thank God for just getting me to this dream because nobody did it but him, not me. Not anybody in my family is strictly God. He is amazing. I dreamed this as a little girl. I'm going to be a doctor. And now here I am. FSU will be fine. Yeah, here I am. Years later, your girl about to be a doctor, y'all. And I know it's too early to be crying. I'm in Memphis. I will definitely look you up. Thank you. And I'm not going to cry on this scope. I'm going to cry when I stop the broadcast. <laughs> But yeah, thank you all. I love you all. Thank you. Yes, without God, nothing is possible. Without him, I would not be here. Without his love and his grace, we would not be here. Mm -hmm. You know, and he's just so amazing. I asked him 
I said, I want to be a dentist. And believe it or not, I gave up on that dream right after I graduated college. I said, I don't want to take the test. The test's too hard. And he sent one of my coworkers into my life. I was working for disability, the state of Florida. I made $34,000 a year. And I got too comfortable right after graduation. I'm like, it's too hard. I don't feel like going back to school. You know, you listen to people say, hey, that take too long. Four more years. And my auntie didn't even say, you ain't going back to school after this. Hmm. I just might. You never know. But they always said it take too long, and God sent an angel to my life when I was working at that job, and she begged me to study with her. I studied, passed the test first time, and you know, my dreams are still alive, even though I gave up. God didn't give up on me. Yeah, God didn't give up on me, so he would ne yeah, crab pot mentality. They would tell you that. They would say, oh, that take too long. Oh, girl, now look. Look at God. Look at God. Look at God, he is so amazing. So today, I challenge each of you to whatever you're going through, even if you're following your dream and you get an F, believe it or not, I got an F on my transcript in undergrad and I thought I was gonna die. It was organic chemistry. If you ever took science classes, organic chemistry is the gateway. It can kick you out of a dream. And I took that class three times, three times. You can't tell me hard work don't pay off. You can't tell me God don't. God don't send you miracles. You can't tell me God don't send you blessings. You can't tell me that God is not real. He is so real. He is so amazing. And he'll get you through your storm, whatever your storm may be. You just use your storm and any trials and tribulations that you have as your testimony, you know? And then one day you're going to wake up and say, dang, it's over. The sun is shining again. God sent me a rainbow. God sent me an angel. God will send people in your life to bless you. So I'm here today to say, God bless you all. God loves you all. I pray that each and every one of you on this scope, each and every person who watches this broadcast, I pray that you have a fruitful life, a prosperous life. Never let anybody with the crab pot mentality drag you down. Leave the crabs where they at, man. You are meant to live in the sky. You are meant to be a star. You are meant to dream. You are meant to love. And you are meant to respect yourself. So I'm so proud. Hi, Mama Louise. How are you, queen? Thank you, Miss Nia, so much. Thank you so much. I give you a hug, virtual hug. <laughs> a virtual hug, but yeah. Ah, yeah, and this is pretty exciting. I think my phone about to die, though, but. <laughs> Hey, Mama Louise. I can't even talk, y'all. Ain't God good? God good. He's good. Listen, graduation day, I'm gonna be a big baby. Big baby. Hi, Coco757. I feel you. May 2016 for you. What? Oh, you get your PhD in May 2016, Josette? That's awesome to see. So, hi, Queen. Did you graduate? No, it's May the 21st. This is just graduation pictures, and I'm just super emotional like always but you know when God is good I give God all the tears in my life he he's amazing y'all know he's amazing he's amazing I tell you like I told them earlier I'm a first generation graduate first person in my family my immediate family to go to college um, thank you court scene the first person to be a doctor in my family let alone a dentist and you know i got nieces and nephews and family who are depending on me i got people to mentor i got to go around to the neighborhoods like where i came from thank you so much mama louise thank you so much miss nia i gotta go to neighborhoods like where i come from and let the, the chocolate girls know did you take a picture? yeah i did oh i don't know i need to come pick i'm coming all right i, I gotta go i gotta go pick my picture but yeah i love you all hi uh, how do I stop it? They don't want to stop, but I gotta go. <laughs> Love y'all.